Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tia and I'm currently converting this van that I'm in. It's a 1991 Ford Aerostar and I'm converting it into a van that I can travel the United States in. And I do have previous videos of all the other steps before this, but today's video is going to be the solar power system. And I have a pretty awesome setup, so I'm excited to show you guys. And everything that I have done in this and used to create the system I have going on, I will link down below if anybody's interested. So let's go ahead and get into it. To show you guys what everything is running off of, I do have two 100 watt solar panels. So these are the things that are making everything happen inside my minivan. Here is the main attraction. The first thing I'm going to start with is the switch panel. So above all the switches are the labels and I'll walk through them. The first one is the forward cabin lights. Let me go ahead and turn this one off. But the forward cabin lights, turn that on right there and the lights come on right above the bed and sink area a cool part about this is that there is a dimmer so i just move it like this and the lights either go bright or dim you can also turn it off with the dimmer then right next to that i'm gonna turn that off right next to that is the main cabin lights and that is above the panel and there are two right here. So if I'm ever in the dark, I have some light switches. And I'm going to keep that on actually because that's good lighting. Right next to that is the fresh water pump. I can't turn that on right now because I'm still working on the plumbing. And once the plumbing is done, I will be able to show you guys. I flip this on and I'll have a sink and a shower and more. So I'll be showing you guys that the next video. Subscribe if you want to see it. Um, the next one is a power socket and right now it's on you can see by the blue light and it's connected right here and it has the refrigerator so the refrigerator is set on 35 and it has been running for about a week just all through the day and night so it's definitely reliable and with the solar that I have it's plenty powerful and it is staying nice and cool. Nice and cold in there. I don't have anything in there right now because I'm still working on the build. So there's no reason. And then there's also the DC power port right here. And then there's a spare switch. So this is for anything I want to add later on. I could just add it right there. And then under that is the USB. And this is going to be really nice for editing videos or creating any type of content. I can have my phone charged, which it is right now. And you can see it's charging up here. And I can also plug in my computer and work on my MacBook in here. Find a nice view and open up the back and get some work done. So that is the switch panel right here. Up next is the solar charge controller. And that PV blinking light just means that it's charging. And it's blinking right now and it's a rainy day. So that's a really good indicator that these solar panels are definitely reliable. They keep the fridge on all day and night with horrible weather. So, well not horrible, but it's rainy and gloomy. So I'm really excited to get the journey going and I trust it a lot. So right here is the cutoff switch. I can turn on and off the battery. And then below that is the fuse box. And if you need to see the fuses, you can just slide it off like that. The way we have this set up is the battery is under the bed in a battery box. And then right above it at the end of the bed is the main fuse between the battery and the switch panel. And then there's some plumbing for the future video. But right over here, how it was all set up was we got this piece of wood. We put everything on it. And we had a spot open like this. But it was this size. And we put all the wires inside of it. And this is how it turned out. 
little view of the whole van, how it looks. So it's right when you walk in this door, there's the panel. All right, so that's the end of the video. Everything that I talked about again will be linked below. Um, I'll do my best to put all the wires and everything. So if you're building a van yourself, then you can have it all listed below. And other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next video when I'm doing the plumbing. I'm very excited, as you can see. Got my bedding in. I chose red. Nice, colorful color, if that makes sense. And also all the stove and everything and it is getting very 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 close to the adventure so subscribe if you want to see all of that give this video a thumbs up for me and i will see you next time bye guys